Hello friends, uh, this is Chandramani and welcome back to new series that is System Center Configuration Manager. So today we will discuss about the System Center Configuration Manager and this is the first part of this series. Okay, I think you have seen many videos of mine and I have discussed a lot of things, a lot of uh, you know, technology of Microsoft, right? So System Center, it is, uh, it's, it's not only a, a Microsoft technology, but also it is integrated with different Microsoft technology to manage our devices objects everything right so what exactly system center configuration manager that will know and I am really excited you know to explain all these things because I have read many articles about the system center configuration manager what I understand that I will present you on my way even though it's a Microsoft technology so uh, as a system administrator if you whether you are working uh, with system center or not that's not important important is that how you know about the technology that is very important so it's not matter whether you work or not even you work it's very good if you not work also then it's good because you gain the knowledge right so thank you very much for this watching the video let me start the system center configuration manager Thank you again. And one more important thing I can tell you, I have, uh, you know, I, I will uh, create so many videos of System Center Configuration Manager and uh, in future also I will be create the so many uh, different technologies of the video. So if you want to get the notification on your mail of or if you want to, you know, automatically uh, this video which I will be up upload uh, on YouTube, you will get the automatical then you need to subscribe my channel. If you really like, you can subscribe. If you like my videos, you can thumbs up. Thank you. Let's start this course and to the point. So here, if you see this, this is the System Center Configuration Manager series. This is the first video which I created. Okay. So here, first point. It's a complete understanding of a system and prerequisites. We will discuss about the system center configuration and what this topic what topic we will discuss first I will give you the introduction of SCCM then how SCCM work okay let's start so first I will take you introduction of system center configuration manager uh, before starting this introduction I can tell you system center configuration manager increase the IT productivity and efficiency by reducing manual tasks and letting you focus of high value project and maximize hardware and software investment and empower end user productivity by providing the right software at the right time right so configuration manager help you deliver more effective IT services by enabling secure and scalable software deployment compliance setting management and comprehensive asset management of services desktop laptop and mobile devices but configuration manager X works alongside your existing Microsoft technology also sorry uh, see uh, what configuration as uh, configure system center configuration manager actually doing so we will see configuration manager uses the active directory domain service without integrate of active directory domain so you cannot install the configuration you cannot con control i mean configure the system center config so first of configuration manager uses the mic uh, sorry uh, act active directory domain services for security purpose services location configuration and to discover the user and devices that you want to manage that will do the system center configuration manager with integrate of active directory then the configuration manager assess the microsoft sql server as a distributed change man management database and integrates with sql server what sql server is doing it's a reporting services it will report how you know that whether SCCM is compliant sorry client is compliant or not which software is deployment you can monitor through the reporting service that is the SQL and it is integrated with IIS also which we call it provide the services web services I think you might be know about the IIS also so it produce report to monitor and track the management activities and many of the configuration management side system role that provides the management functionality use the web services of internet information service right okay so second thing is background intelligent service uh, transfer service that's a bits and branch case can be used to help manage the available network bandwidth also so this is not only things the system center configuration manager is doing SCCM is doing in in, in addition this 
the configuration manager can integrate with windows server update service that is the wishes previously if you talk about the b if you talk about the wishes everyone know it right because uh, patching things is the main part of system administrator right everybody knows it right so that thing that is integrated with ssm and network access protection that is the nap technology i think you might be ever with it right and certificate services exchange server and exchange online group policy the dns server role windows automated install kit that is windows eik adk and this uh, user state migration tool usmt that has you might be ever otherwise we will discuss about it no issue and the windows deployment service wds which we can manage the our i mean we can deploy through uh you know network so the image operating system should be deployed through the network that is the wds windows deployment services and remote desktop remote assistance that is a old technology we know but it is integrated to be successful with the configuration manager you must first thoroughly plan and test the management features before you can configure manage your production environment right so this is the first steps whenever we doing any task in our environment in our production environment right first we do the file test then we will go to the production environment because it's a process we should follow the process we should follow the plan right we should make the strategy then can only be it, it can be a plan right after the plan we need to test after the test it's successful then we will go to the production environment this is what we are doing day to day life right so as a powerful management application this is the configuration manager can potentially affect uh, every computer in your organization when you deploy and, and manage configuration manager with the careful planning and consideration of your business uh sorry requirement and i mean configuration manager can reduce your administrative overhead and total cost of membership okay so uh, i think you understand uh, like uh, config what exactly the configuration manager and the next video we will know how it works and uh, what are things prerequisites to you know uh, for the system center configuration so thanks thanks for watching this video and we will i will see you again on the next video thanks.